Hello everyone, uh, this is Sierra and I wanted to film a quick video uh, for those who were curious about my new B6 uh, Punto from Gilio. This is their uh, ringless cover for their planner and as you can see it already has a few nicks on it. It, um, You know I haven't babied it at all, I threw it in my bag. Um, and I love it. I mean, at first I was like, oh my gosh, what are, what are these marks? But, um, you know, that's just how I use it. And so it, it still looks gorgeous. And it's, um, the quality is just, I just, it's it's just, you can't compare it. I mean, it's definitely not an ostrich, but it is uh, very, very nice. So uh, without further ado, for those who do not follow me on Instagram or haven't watched my other videos, uh, my planner setup has remained consistent for... Gosh, I guess since May, uh, where I've had a ring planner, which right now I'm in um, a Gilio Medium Campania, which is their uh, personal size, and I did switch out to 30 inch, 30 millimeter uh, rings. So that's my everyday carry, and every day in my purse I have this. Uh, this is always out on my desk at work. And then I always have my B6 Apunto. And before this, uh, B6 is, um, the inserts are 5 by 7 inches. For anyone who's kind of curious about how they compare to um, a personal size insert, they're just, you know, just a titch longer and right in all the right places. So, um, so yeah, I always have these two in my purse, uh, in my bag. If I'm on the go... Um, say like running errands and I just have like a smaller uh, bag and not my work bag then I would only bring my B6 um, because it's something I can I don't try and be super pretty with I don't have any rules quote unquote like I just let myself plan and be myself and you know if the layout isn't working I switched up the next day um, it's interesting because what I have noticed is if I have a particularly stressful day um, or one where I haven't really had time to breathe, my handwriting changes, and the day isn't as, I guess, organized in my stayology. It's kind of interesting, like, I don't know if I can find a good example, but there's weeks where I, like, it looks super clean cut. That almost looks pretty good. But then there's some days <laughs> where I'll get super, like, this one is just crazy. Just, like, throw up on a page. So, I like that. I feel like I can go back and kind of see how that day was going for me. Um, so yeah, that's my planner system. Um, like I said, it hasn't changed. It's just the covers have changed. So uh, with the B6 Apunto, which is what I wanted to focus on in this video, um, this is my Stayology that I have used, let's see, what is it? October through December. So that's I only, uh, and I had set out only to use it for those months, so for those three months. And so half the book um, is used for weekly and daily. So there's a very quick uh, weekly page that I use. Here, I'll show you. It's December. Like I just did a quick weekly just to have a, I just put high level things that, to make sure that I don't forget. Um, and then every day has a day per page. The weekend. Uh, even the weekend days get a page. Before I only did a uh, weekend Saturday and Sunday on the same page, but uh, there wasn't enough space, so I said why not make it a day per page, or day per, even for the Saturday and Sunday. Then I have a page fully just for next week, so I literally just brain dump anything I can think of that's coming up or that I want to do. And then on this side of the week, let's see if I have a, I put my meal plan quick so I can remember my gym plan, um, what days I plan on drinking alcohol or not, um, and then my gym schedule, which you can see last week I literally didn't even, I mean I made it to the gym once, which is good. Um, a win's a win, but um, so yeah, that's how it works. And then the other half is uh, just a journal, and I'm not, it's really personal. Like honestly, the stayology itself, about 90% of what's in here is personal. I'm not going to lie, like it's hard, I can't. I can't put enough sticky notes down to be able to actually show you page per page because it's just so personal. One time I, I put a story up on Instagram and, um, you know, bless 
my my followers and I, I have so much respect for um, the planner community but you know they read it and they and someone reached out oh good luck on this and that and I said oh my gosh you actually read like the fine fine print which you know that's I posted it and I'm totally fine with that but I was like you know I can't actually show most of these pages without um, you know really going really deep into my life and I don't think I'm necessarily comfortable with that yet or I might not ever be so um, you know, I really wish I could show more to you guys, but, you know, that's just not how this is set up. It's just really set up as more, I guess, a journal. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of, like, every month is the same. I have one, the month starts out, so, like, this is Sunday, December 3rd, and then the next week will be, I have December, I have the May designs, and I write out my goals, which I haven't finalized yet. <laughs> Probably should get on that today. Um... I have this Hobonichi paper that I use that I just write down big stuff. Um, this is just a quote that I liked. I used to use this as a habit tracker too, which is why it has washi tape on it as a kind of a bookmark index page. But um, I've actually moved that into my Jillio, so I no longer use uh, that particular page. And then there, like I said, the weekly page and the day per page. That's literally how every month looks. I mean, you can go back to November and, or here's October, my goals the big stuff, my habit tracker, um, and then a day per page, and then again for November, and November goals, etc. So that's what the bulk of what's in here. This is a pen clip. Uh, I want to say, gosh, I want to say it's Kelly Ava Designs or Canned Co XOXO. Um, you know, you can find these. You can actually make them yourself really easily, but I just don't have the patience to do that right now um, and this highlighter I got from the cloth and paper uh, pen subscription so I use that in here because I have found that I wish I had a highlighter on me and so let's get into the cover itself so like I said this is the B6 Apunto Giulio Firenze um, they came out with the B6 November 6th and I literally had an alarm I woke up five minutes beforehand um, I already had the page bookmarked, I was already logged in, and it turned out that they didn't sell out as fast as I thought they would, um, but I got it, so I don't have to worry about it. I really wanted a cover for my stylology that was professional and, uh, you know, really high craftsmanship. I did have it before in a uh, number, five, number 5 Foxy Fix um, single coconut. It was like one of their specials, and I liked that, but I just felt kind of girly and kind of silly with it um, whereas this I just feel like really holds everything I need and it's um, really um, thick and gorgeous and um, I don't know it has all the bells and whistles I need so just like the Campania it has the back pocket which is you know a signature of them um, I actually have this one quite full I'll go through that, but there's a side pocket over here. There's card pockets right here. I have stickers stuffed in here. Um, they keep sliding out, so I might have to get some sort of Oli clip over there or something. Um, here I just have random papers, um, stuff I wanted to keep, and a paper clip. It's these mini gold clips. They're so they're so cute. Look at them. I really like them. That's that's from Canco XOXO. Um, I bought like every single color she was, she was selling. I love them so much. Um, and then in the back they have another flap. This is a parking ticket that I have to pay. So annoying. Um, when I don't want to park in, when I want to be able to park right outside my job, I always forget to plug, plug the meter. Um, and then they also have this pocket here. Now, I don't, do I, am I using it? Oh, I always have stamps in this pocket, yeah. And like every planner I own, I have stamps because I love snail mail. And so if anyone wants to ever exchange, I don't know, snail mail or, you know, if you have extra paper stuff you're not using and you want to switch up some stuff with me, I would be more than happy to do that. I love sending mail and getting mail. Um, and then I actually do love the Gilio pen. So this actually came with my Rosa, uh, my pink ostrich planner that I have, but um, it's rose gold. It writes in blue. It writes super nice. So it's a, I think it's a roller ball. Um, but yeah, I keep it in here because I, I really do actually like it a lot, even though it was like a freebie. 
Um, and so yeah, I actually don't have anything in this back pocket. In this pocket here, I have some my newest addiction die cut. I didn't laminate this one. I didn't want it to be bulky, and I didn't want it to be shiny. I really liked that. Um, I have some stickers that I got from Mochi Things. Um, I just got their order, that order in from Black Friday. It came super fast, and these, these are actually all from this MochiThings.com. So I'll go into that, but um, I plan on using these in here. So I stuck them back here. They fit perfectly. And then if you couldn't tell, I have Ole Clips everywhere. So Ole Clips are this magnetic magnetic strip. And it, you know, depending on which ones you order, they're not as strong. It depends. Like these and the one I use right here, they're super strong. But if you, I noticed that the matte ones I have, um, the matte glitter, they're not as strong. And I actually emailed them, and I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but... I actually emailed them because I was like, oh my gosh, it's not as strong. It's like really not as functional for me because I can't actually hold um, all the paper. And they said, well, depending on the paper that covers the magnet, you know, it can make it less strong. But it's actually the same magnet inside. So, I, you know, if that's just the way it is, that's the way it is. I would have wished they would have mentioned that on the listing. Um, I decided not to try and even re return it or I don't know if they'd even let me, but... Um, so luckily my ro my rose gold Ole clip here and a few of my original Ole clips, they are very strong and I love them, but next time I'm going to be really careful about which ones I order um, because otherwise it like they hold like two papers or something and it's not, that's probably an exaggeration, but let's see. I have some more in here I could probably pull out. Oh yeah, here's, this is the matte, the matte glitter. This is Buteo Bunker, They're, this color. I think it's really pretty. I don't know if you can tell that it's shimmery but it's glittery but it just doesn't you can tell it's not as tight or it doesn't it's not as strong so like I said I'm not using it because it's not as functional but um you know it doesn't mean it's not pretty and someone wouldn't get a lot of use out of it I have a Tar Target dollar spot stuck right here and I actually intend on my 2018 setup to put some more um, adhesives down. I don't know where those went. I don't know. I must have put them somewhere else. But um, and then in this pocket, I have stencils. Um, I haven't really gotten into yet, but I got them. And then I have some of my favorite stickers and some um, notes that I have here. So they're like actually work notes that I have in here to keep track of. Um, here's my collection I wrote out of planners I own. Currently, I don't think I have the B6 on here. Yeah, this is from October, so I just keep it to keep track of how much I spent um, so that if and when I want to sell them, I have it all down. I can remember what sort of pockets I got if I bought a Foxy Fix or um, etc. So in here, these stickers are really functional stickers where like I use them like to cleaning. Um, I really like these stickers from Notes and Clips. You can choose the foiling, but... They're just really straightforward and I like them. Um, so they're in here because I actually use them all the time. Alright, so we're at 13 minutes. So I think that's kind of all I wanted to go through with my Stylogy. Um, I am going to do an updated video when I have my new, brand new Stylogy set up for 2018. And what I plan on doing with that one is from Mochi and Things, I bought these stickers. And if you, let's see if there's a good one. You can kind of see what this one where I'm actually going to use these tabs to mark the different months and it looks like with the B6 I'm probably going to have to do top tabs because it actually comes up I don't know if you guys can see that very yeah you guys can see that just fine um, it'd be, it's going to be hard, it's going to be pushing up against the pen loop so I, I'm going to use put them on the top but that way I can easily get to the different months I don't know which color I'm going to use yet um, I bought four because they had this crazy sale, so I really, <laughs> I didn't, I wanted to take advantage of it because um, they're not 2018 specific, so I can use them, you know, different years, etc. And I think right now I'm going to do six months per stayology. Um, see how that works. I know this one I've only been doing, I've only used this for three months, and I almost filled it up. So um, we'll see if I can get six months in there. If not. Um, you know, I'll just have to abandon it if I run out of space and uh, get another one and, and uh, start that way. So, 
Um, so I'm excited to use those. I'm going to put some adhesive pockets in there. These are some new sticky notes I really liked. Um, what I wanted to show you briefly at the end here is what goes into all this planning. So um, I'll do a flip through later of my 2018 setup in my Jillio. I'm not 100% on it yet, so I don't want to spoil it uh, when I'm not done. But right now it has all 2018 inserts in it. So um, it's really bulky. I really, really barely can uh, close it. But um, when 2018 actually comes, December will come out, black uh, holiday inserts will come out. So it'll actually uh, fit perfectly. Um, all right, so to go, what goes into all this planning, you guys can turn it off if you don't really care about this, but these are my favorite things. These are my must-haves that I have accumulated uh, during my planning. I've been planning since middle school, which is, whew, I don't know, 20, 2003, 2003 maybe, I don't know. Um, but this, these are my go-to. So every day, sometimes I carry these to and from work even. Um, it's really light. Um, I have a corner puncher, a um, hole punch, because everything in my Jillio is corner punched. I think it just looks, except for my, my dividers, I need to do better on that. But um, I really like how the corners look when they're um, hole punched. And this is the best one I could find so far. It's the Katomaru Pro. I got it off Amazon. Um, you got to have a paper cutter because all my inserts I print myself except for cloth and papers that were pre-printed. I go through that in my previous video. Um, so I cut all these right on here. I cut about three or four pages at a time because I use pretty thin um, office paper. And then I have a hole punch. And this hole punch is my favorite. It is, um, you can pocket, personal size. You can even do A5 size here. Um, it's really easy. Um, I just haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. So those are my three go-to. My last, my other thing that I really, everyone needs is a solid pair of scissors. So I talk about this in a couple of my other videos, but I never showed them. They're Jim Holtz and they actually came with a, um, like protector here, but I lost it. So it's kind of dangerous, but they cut so well and I can cut my die cuts out really easily. Um, obviously you could use a precision cutter too. I just really like these. Um, they don't hurt my wrist. <laughs> um, and then another thing for those that are starting out is adhesive dots. These are actually permanent dots. Um, I think m most people might recommend you you did not do permanent dots. You get the ones that are removable. Um, but this is the mini size and this is how I stick or how I'm assuming most people stick their die cuts and other papers to their dashboards. Um, for example, yesterday I stuck this lady on the back of this dashboard I made and I stuck this right here, you can tell, uh, with these adhesive dots and they don't hurt the laminate so you could always rip it off if you needed to and lose, use glue gun or yeah. Yeah. Uh, what else is in here that I think is necessary? Absolutely need Ole clips, um, like I talked about earlier. Um, some solid pens. I love whiteout. I use that in my styleology all the time. Um, I carry my favorite washi tape in this bag too, and then any die cuts that this is from Kelsey Plans, Sleepy Bear. Um, any die cuts that I you know potentially want to use, but I just don't really have a place for them yet or know where I want to use them. And then obviously your favorite sticky notes. These were from Target. Um, those are my main things that you need starting out that I think would be really helpful. Um, so we got corner puncher, the hole punch, the paper cutter, the, pe uh, the scissor, the dots, a coletto I also would recommend as a necessary. You get to choose the colors that are inside. This is from Jet Pens. You get to choose the um, the size of the the ink. I would recommend that. And last but not least, something that most people would never see and would never give a crap about because no one would ever know it's there is a page lifter. This one's from Foxy Fix. I honestly don't know where else you buy them. I'm sure they sell them somewhere, but this one I bought off Foxy Fix. Um, this saves my papers. Like literally, saves them. From like these last few pages, you see how stuffed this is. They all look perfect. This has been in here for months. My vehicle maintenance uh, divider.
or insert and I love it so I would highly recommend like especially if you're looking at hey like a gift that's relatively inexpensive uh, for maybe some of your planner friends uh, ring ring planner friends you gotta have the page lifter people um, honestly so all right with that said um, I don't think I have much else I have over here all of my inserts that I have printed for 2018 that I'm working on like going through I mean this is literally the chaos that is getting ready for 2018 look at all these inserts I have that are printed I mean it's just crazy but I didn't I was trying to plan it out and then I realized oh I don't have this or I don't have that and so I'd go print out more and then <laughs> and then I'd realize I don't have this or that and or I want to add these and so um, now I just have a big collection of them that I'll get through hopefully eventually or maybe I'll just you know freebie them to someone so if someone's interested in some already pre-printed inserts for free because I'm definitely not going to sell them that's um, yeah, that's not it's these are for personal use so um, I'm trying to think what else obviously you guys have any questions let me know I'm on Instagram at SM plans um, I post my whole life there so there's pictures of my baby and my family um, but for the most part it is my planner so thanks for watching I'm so happy with my B6 Apunto it has literally made my life so much better um, giving my Stayology a home. So let me know if you guys have any questions and thanks for watching.